All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World, and I'm Blue Devil. What we got going on today is a video of Little Reese. If you don't know who Little Reese is, he's one of Chief Keef's associates, right? Also an associate of Lil Durk. We recently seen him in all kinds of uh, headlines for either getting shot or blasting motherfuckers. You already know. He with the business. So check this out. Uh, before we get into that video, if you guys are new to the Hater World, make sure you go over, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, like the video, and most importantly, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you guys like what I'm doing or whether you don't. And salute to all the subscribers. You guys already know nothing but love. Check this out. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do so at The Hater World. Also hit me up on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook at The Hater World. And all business inquiries, and when I say business, it means real business, uh, thehaterworld at gmail.com. As you guys can see, we got this set up. We're trying to run different things, uh, see what works. Uh, if this works, we'll run a new segment here. Uh, so that way we can keep you guys updated with everything we got going on. So other than that, make sure you hit the website. It will be loaded, uh, reloaded, and ready to go, uh, locked and loaded, uh, the 20th. We set the 15th, uh, but we got so many things going on that it won't be ready to the 20th. All right, so show some love, show some support. You already know here at the Hater World, all we do is level up, level up, and level up. Same thing everyone out there should be doing, all right? Uh, so let's go ahead and watch this small video. It's only a minute long, uh, so let's go ahead and watch it, and I'm going to give you guys a Southsiders reaction, all right? So with no further ado, let's get it. Do you feel like since the whole Houston jail thing mm -hmm. and you got out, is this really motivating you, like, yeah, for no, real, for no, real? Motivated. Check it out. Uh, before we go any further, little Reese looks uh, rejuvenated. He looks he looks clean, right? He looks uh, like he's off of the drugs. He looks like he's ready for round two of his life. Uh, prior to this, which prior to him going to jail, he was tore up because he was living that street life. Uh, now it looks like he got his head on a swivel. So salute to little Reese. It me a lot. Good. It motivated me a whole lot. Damn. One day, that shit motivated me. That shit motivated me. Yeah, yeah, getting locked up gonna motivate the fuck out you. If no nothing motivate you, getting locked up gonna motivate you. Like, check it out. I don't know who the interviewer is, uh, but the moment that your guest slows down and doesn't know what to say, you punch in. You punch in with some. No matter what it is, you punch in with something. Uh, Little Reese said he's motivated now more than ever uh, because he got out of jail and he went to jail. Uh, that is a good thing, but let's go. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta do this way better. I can't do this like this way no more. I can't do this like that way no more. You gonna get out and be on your shit, I ain't gonna lie. But a lot of people don't go through that, so they don't know. Like that one, I never been through that, so I never knew the feeling like of being locked up and not being able to do what you wanna do. I never knew that feeling. Check it out. Uh, first of all, he said that he's motivated, right? There's a lot of homies that go to jail, right? And they say they're going to do all this when they get out. They're going to marry with their lady. They're going to get a job. They're going to go to church. You know, they're going to do everything and anything. And the minute they get out, they forget. They forget about everything they said. They go back on the pookie. They go back to chilling with the homeboys. They go back to doing everything that they used to do before they got busted. There's a lot of people like that, you know, but he also said that, you know, he's never knew that feeling of being locked down to understand how great he got it out here. And this is a message for the youngsters watching, okay? All the youngsters that watch my channel that are probably below 30, uh, that never been to jail but are out there, you know, messing around, let this be a message. Listen, uh, it's nothing greater than your freedom. When your freedom, when your freedom gets stripped from you, that's when you totally understand uh, what freedom is. Uh, freedom is great. Uh, there's no better feeling, right? Uh, to be able to get up, go, on, go to the bathroom whenever you want, get up and go to the fridge, uh, be able to go outside and see as much as the sunset. I'll tell you one thing. Uh, I remember one time I did this time and I, and I got out and I had woke up super early and I was outside and I saw the sunset, believe it or not. But I'm, I saw the sun coming up, sorry. I saw the sun coming up, right? Six, five, six in the morning, right? And I remember it was a few days I was after I was out, and I was like, man, this is something that I've never seen in my life. Because, you know, when you're free, you run, you you moving too fast. You're running, right? Uh, so you don't get to enjoy little things. 
Uh, and when you get out of jail, you're still moving like jail. So you're still on that time, on that slow time, right? So when I was able to drink some coffee and catch the, the sunrise, uh, it felt great. That was the best feeling in the world. You know, for other people, it could be other things. But let's get back to the message for the kids. Uh, understand that when you go to jail, uh, everything is taken from you. Everything, bro. You're, you're told when to eat, when to sit down, when to talk, uh, when to watch TV, everything. Uh, and if you don't got a big homie telling you, well, now you got one here. Uh, that ain't the place you want to be. Uh, there's many ways, uh, many, many ways to stay free nowadays. All right? But let's go. Until I just went to jail. How long had you previously been in for? How long? Yeah, I, I, that was the longest I did. Oh, the wow. I just did. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't go to jail, bro. I don't be in jail. You know why the interviewer thought that Reese had been to jail before? Uh, because they call him the shy rag grim reaper. He with the business. But I will tell you this. I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people that have stayed out of prison, uh, either due to attorney money or due to being too sly, slick, and wicked. Uh, there's a lot of homies that ain't never been to prison and are crazier and downer than homies that are in prison. Uh, trust me. Trust me. I even know residents that are downer than actual G's. But let's go. I don't be in, I'm not no jailbird niggas. Like, I got a lot of homies that have been locked up for 10 years, 11 years, 12 years, 13 yeah. years, 14, 15 years. That's crazy. 17 years, 18 years. Shit like that. I'm the only one who... And they love it. I got a homeboy that goes back to prison every summer. Uh, that fool come home, kick it for a little bit, do his thing, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, keister a bunch of stuff and go back. He loves it. Fucking guy loves it, you know. And that's their thing, you know. That is their fucking thing. And you can't, you can't tell them otherwise because they've already built their life around prison. Like, like me. Uh, I can't see myself going back for 5, 10, 3, 2. You know, I got too many things going on in my life to, to fuck that off, right? But it could happen. It could happen to any of us. Anybody out there watching, it could happen to you. You could be doing the right thing and boom, something happens, right? Uh, so it's possible. But there is home homies that grow up knowing nothing else but kicking it, prison. Kicking it, prison. You know? Uh, and that's what they do. So shout out to them. Let's go. We ain't been down to jail, did no year, none of that shit, months, none of that shit, and I just did it. I see what they went through. Now I know they pain. Bro. Now I see what I, what they was preaching to me the whole time. Like, like bro, you don't want to go to jail. Ooh, I, I never been. There you go. He said the homies were preaching to him, and he never listened. Once again, youngsters, I know you motherfuckers think that we're too old, we're dinosaurs, we don't know nothing. But listen, we've been there and we've done it. And if we're telling you, it's because we already know the outcome. Listen, I got a little brother, right? And uh, I got a big brother. And my big brother never put me up on game. Uh, he wanted to. He wanted me to be just like him. Uh, or if worser, right? Uh, and I remember my father used to always tell me, you know, stay, stay out of trouble, go to work, blah, blah, blah. You know, all the good spill. And I always thought it was funny, like, bro, what do you know? You don't know. You're from Mexico. Like, what do you know what I go through out here, right? And now that I tell that to my little brother, it reminds me of me being my father. And uh, I tell my little bro, I go, look. Well, now he's older, but used to. I go, look, uh, I'm not your dad. Like, but I will tell you, whatever you're doing, I've already done it. I've already been there a hundred times and back. So if I'm telling you, you should listen to me because first, I'm not your dad, right? So I'm telling you because I know what time it is, right? When you hear it from your father, you don't want to listen because you're thinking, what does he know? But you can't say that to me. You can't tell that to me because I literally know. I've walked it. I lived it, you know? But guess what? They still don't listen. They still don't listen. Some people have to learn for themselves. You know, there could be fire and you can tell them, you're going to get hurt and they're going to do it anyways. They're going to touch the fire, you know. Uh, you, they just don't learn. They, they want to learn the hard way and so be it. It is what it is, right. But message to the youngsters, take, my, take some advice from a real one every here and there. Believe me, uh, adapt it to your life and your life will be easy.
police car. So I'm just like brushing them off, like, man, I don't want to hear that Till I actually went. Then when I went, psh, ooh, I synced it. But certain motherfuckers only answer the phone for you. Man, certain What he's saying is that when you get locked up, you call home and your old lady's being piped by your homie, right? You call home and all those people that owed you money are nowhere to be found. Uh, you call home and you want to see what's cracking on the block uh, and you can't be part of it. Listen, uh, some people when they go to prison or jail, they forget, the, they forget about the outside world because they know nobody got their back. Some people go to jail and prison and got family, you know, wife, kids, you know, and even though you know they're there, they're really not there. Uh, so you really got to ask yourself, is that the life you want? You want to sit in the cell thinking whether your lady's piping the mailman or the fucking milkman? Listen, uh, I have certain thoughts from jail that sometimes I'll think of them and I'll be like, damn, I ain't trying to go there. And I don't mean to jail, I mean mentally, you know, PTSD. Uh, believe me, it's real. He's going to answer because you who you is and they probably scared. Oh, gang, fuck being locked up. I need to be out. He's going to see how I'm coming. Hey, shout out to Reese. He said, I need a BL. Motherfuckers are going to see how I'm coming. You know what he's saying? He's saying, look, before jail, I didn't know jail. So I was running wild, not giving a shit, right? Now that I'm free because I went to jail, I know that like you can get your life taken away like this, right? You can be out here, and within a few seconds, you're busted doing life. Uh, I saw that. I don't want that, and I'm learning, and I'm moving forward. And salute because a lot of people go to jail and don't learn. Looks like Reese learned. It looks like he said, you know what? I'm cool off this shit. And now when you when you go through that and you learn, you literally make your time your life a thousand times better. So I guarantee you, Reese is gonna either drop some new music, drop a podcast, uh, he's gonna be active in the scene. Uh, I could see it. I could see it in his eyes that he's trying to blow up, you know. Especially when you got a name. Listen, when you got a name and you're sitting there like, what am I going to do, right? Well, I'm Little Reese. I could do anything. I could hit up Dirk. I could hit up Chief. I can hit up Sosa. I could literally do anything. Uh, fuck it. Let me figure it out, you know? So salute to everybody mentioned, Dirk, Sosa, Reese. Uh, and this interviewer needs, some, needs to step up his game, all right? Uh, hit me up if you want some lessons here at the Hater World. But he really needs to step up his game. And uh, salute to everybody watching the video, everybody in the live chat. If you guys like the new setup, let me know. We're not going to do it for the reactions, or maybe we will. But I'm going to do it. If you guys like this, uh, we're going to do a new segment, all right? We're going to start taking this channel a little bit more serious, and we're going to do segments, okay? So just let me know if you guys like this. Like I said, we'll do segments. Uh, but other than that, we're going to kill this video relay and call it a day. Uh, salute to everybody. Let's get this. You guys already know uh, the only way to go is up, so we level up, all right? Other than that, I'm Blue Devil. This has been a Hater World production, and we out.